Christian faith, which we challenge, they will begin spewing the most colourful shit. Then he goes on to say, All Christianity does is have concern over fellow brothers and sisters. Have you actually ever done history? Seen the Crusades, the Dark Ages, witch burning, South Vietnam oppression of Buddhist monks during the war, not to mention the Holocaust. All of these things prove that point to be, in fact, wrong. He then goes on to this, All we do is warn because we know what the truth is. What truth? You have no evidence for your so-called truth, so you cannot, in fact, call it a truth. Atheists say we force a religion onto others. How can that be if there are still atheists out there? Well, you do force your religion on others. You can see that with the examples just mentioned. And the reason atheists are here, and may I add finally here, is because we have fought for our rights. Atheists say that we are ignorant. How can that be if we still study science and educate ourselves for our own well-being? Ignorant and stupid are not the same thing. It is an ignorant fallacy to believe so. Ignorant is even more prevalent in people who know the facts, yet still choose to believe myths, saying, for example, that their book is right when it has been proven wrong on many different aspects. One example of the Bible being proven wrong will come out towards the end on a different point. Atheists say that science disproves God. Wrong again! It only strengthens our belief. This is a reasonable proof of ignorance. Please see above. So where am I going with all this? I really don't know to tell you the truth. At least I am being honest. I very much doubt you are being honest. Your video, though incorrect so far, is well set out. Even the music play on a person's emotions, though the text is complete crock. Now, atheists don't seem like very happy people. See now, we have this thing called sadness. Everyone gets it once in a while when a person dies or something tragic happens. Yet, we live as well for the good times. And believe me, the good times are sweeter when you know they're not controlled by some magic man in the sky. I shall be creating a video in the future to show this. Uh, it'll probably be something along the lines of an atheist life is a good life, and it'll probably just contain some of my photos that I gathered over the years. They constantly attack Christianity. Don't you have better things to do? Why do you waste your time on us if you think our father is a joke? Hey, first off, I do this only in my free time. You actually let your religion rule how you live, ergo, you waste more time on this. Secondly, we are not on the attack. Christianity is the one that is on the attack. As I have said before, we can get on with religions, and we have in the past. There is no atheist Wiccan conflict currently, because they're not trying to rule us. They are on a live and let live basis, unlike you. Atheists have been persecuted for many thousands of years for being heretics and just plain evil. But finally, we are allowed to come out, and you Christians are not happy. You can no longer just get rid of us if we disagree with you. You can no longer kill us if we disagree with you. And so you're beginning to play victim. Christians love people and care about other people's feelings, said Hitler the Catholic as he stood next to Goebbels. We are polite and never put anyone down. Of course, there is occasionally a Christian that takes things a little bit overboard. Occasionally. Christianity is one of THE most bloodthirsty religions going, buddy. If you don't know that, go back to school and history and maybe listen for once. You know, I was there in Norway after the incident where a Christian belonging to an ancient order slaughtered so many young and innocent. Though they're seen today, this was normal not too long ago. Also, why is it when any other religion does something extreme, just once with a couple of their members, suddenly that entire religion is bad? But when it's just you, not all of you are bad, it's only a couple of people. It's a double standard, and it makes me sick. Atheists, most, not all, mock faith, name call, put down, the list goes on and on. Of course. Because mockery is so much worse than brainwashing innocent children into thinking just because they were born, 
if they don't get down and beg that a tall man with a pitchfork is going to boil them in oil and fire for eternity. You know, it's this problem. We mock you for your single capacity. You attack us for being who we are, saying that we are going to hell just because we are who we in fact are. Does it please you to feel like you have some sort of power over us Christians? Well, it doesn't please me. It makes me feel more secure that my rational capacity is better than yours. Or does it disappoint you to know that we aren't hurt at all by what you say, and in turn we end up praying for you, wishing the best for you? Great way to contradict yourself there, buddy. You really went for it. So you're saying we're always on the attack, yet nothing we say can affect you whatsoever. That's just a failure. If we're not affecting you, why are you complaining so much? Word of advice. Get on with your life. I told you, I do this part time. You get on with your life and doing something constructive, rather than procrastinating with your Bible. So where am I going with all this? Nice use of repetition. If atheists kept to themselves and didn't put Christians down for caring, then everything would just be fine. See, crusades, holocaust, witch burnings, stonings, slavery, human sacrifice, oppression, IRA, objectifying women, Phelps family, Galileo, don't ask, don't tell, as a few examples of where it's not fine. You can't blame us for following the most perfect set of morals that have ever been seen on the face of the earth. Oh, you mean the morals where slavery is good? You should stone disabled people, midgets and gays, as that is doing good. There's more, but I'm saving that for later. You can't blame us for being just as loving as the father is. Well, we've got one very big problem here. In the Bible alone, God kills 2,017,000 956 people plus 65 entire cities, which we don't know how many there were in those cities, and then everyone in the world since the Bible. Satan killed 10 after God said he could. That doesn't seem very moral to me. If humanity followed the teachings of Jesus Christ, we would live in a perfect and peaceful world. Repeating yourself doesn't make it right, Jock. This isn't the damn Wizard of Oz. There's no place like home. Instead, we live in a wicked world where lies break a girl's heart, where lust leads to disrespecting a woman for who she really is. And in the Bible, women are objects and nothing more. This was because Eve tempted Adam into eating the apple. Read your own damn book before fighting for it where stealing leads to the troubles of family that spent countless dollars to obtain a valuable possession. Hey, parts of the Bible says you should sell all your possessions and give the money to the poor. It's the theist version of communism, if you like. Minus the part where Karl Marx shits on religion. Opium of the masses, people. Where murder leads to the heartbreak of a grandmother or a grandfather. A mother or a father, a brother or a sister, a son or a daughter. Do I have to bring out the list again, or have you eventually got it? Where greed leads to the starvation of thousands across the globe. Where giant